way. I found my 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 way. Thank God for the vision. I found my way. You can't ride my way. I found my way. I found my way. What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? Welcome to another edition of Dirty Talk. I am your boy Dirty Cuts. And I am here with the none other fat daddy. Oh, out the gate, out the gate. Yeah. What's going on, my brother? Al? I'm chilling, man. I'm glad to be here, man. Blessed, man. How you doing, Kato? Man, I'm doing great, man. Like, just glad to, I'm glad to be here as well, as well, as well. I see you got that trap prop on. Man, hey, I, I, I see you got that trap prop on, Kato. It's feeling nice, you know what I'm saying? It's looking well done now. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey. I like this shit, man. This shit is hard. Now, what you got? Yeah, I see you got it all too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That Trump problem. <laughs> fuck it. I mean, well, since we're talking about it, let's go and get into it. What's what? What's up with what I'm wearing? What, I mean, how this come about? Uh, so, that's the uh, third collection of our track suits. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The uh, head of our creating department, my cousin, he created those. This is our third uh, collection of the track suits. The uh, okay. stripe is actually. Like, I like the, the feel on it, yeah, man. What's yeah. that? That's, what is that velvet? No, no, we got we got we got some great material for it, but right. the stripe actually like the supreme, you know, the supreme right, part right, of the right, collection. Right. So yeah, I like it, man. Yeah. It's cool yeah. too. Shit, Yo, we got the vibe. Yo, we got to take some pictures after this shit. Yes, so, all right. So, what's your cousin name? What, what's your name? My name is Sid. Sid, yeah. what's going on, Sid? All right, speak a little bit up to the camera a little bit. I mean, uh, microphone just a little bit. So look, I, look, I just want to touch on the on the word and everything. How you come about the track suits and all that? Well, I mean, was you, you know, was you visualizing like, with it? I mean, yeah, everything is a I mean, visual thing. It's like um, my cousin started came up with the clothing line. And he, you know, he let me in on. It. And I always been big in the fashion. You know, I always wanted my line. Okay. And then it was like, once we started moving forward in it, being in it long enough, you know. Teamed up? I, yeah, yeah. I came up, I found certain people, you know. And it's if it's something that I like to wear, yeah. I can create it now. You know. Gotcha. Okay. So everything always going to be fire high. I got plenty of swag. You know? I got you. you so know? where can we find these at? I mean, where can we go get this at, man? Man, right now, you down, what happened? Nah, right now, we slaying them things at the, at the truck of the car right now. Oh. We got them in a couple of little stores, but overall, most of the sales come from okay. come either coming from me or him. Or Instagram, uh, you know, a lot of people find us on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, you definitely like follow us on Instagram. Yeah. We'll have a website in a couple of days. Okay, we'll have it at the bottom. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, that's what's up. That's what uh, you want to say, say it. Oh, what is got, your Instagram? It's just the beginning of it. Oh, the Instagram? Yeah, what's the name? What's your Instagram name? Bro? It's uh trap proper. Trap underscore proper. Trap underscore proper. Yeah, trapping that makes sense. Yeah, trapping that makes sense. Yeah, mm. trap underscore proper. Y'all go on Instagram. Hit my man up for one of these track suits or one of these flash t shirts or these hoodies and shit. And it's going down. And it feels good. You know what I'm saying? It's worth the cash too. Buy black. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, anyway, <laughs> so all right, let's go back, man. Let's let, let let's take it back a little bit. My Where did it all start for you? How did Fat Daddy come up? What what's the name, Fat Daddy? What I mean, how did all this shit start? Uh, my mama gave me that name. Uh, you know, I grew up on the east side. Okay, so been Fat Daddy my whole life. East side, east side. They had to turn it from something negative to something positive. Like the big word, word. So when did when did you decide to pick up the mic? Uh, <laughs> well, I pretty much been, you know, I was doing it since we were kids, you know, my whole life. But I <laughs> got serious with it uh, when I came home from prison, 2008. So 2008 is where you where you said, fuck it, we're going hard with this. Mm -hmm. We ain't turning back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I want to touch on this uh, this boxing thing. Mm -hmm. How did this come about, and where, where where do you stand? In? I mean, what 
What's the name of the company and all that good stuff? Well, um, I was introduced to this guy, Ralph, uh, at one of his fights he was hosting. And uh, it was hands up, guns down. They were uh, at his gym. And they had guys in there that had real street beef. And they had set it up. And um, I asked him, could I be a part of that? And uh, I got a part of it. You know, we reached out to some guys who we had problem that I had problems with, you know, before neighborhood beef. Mm-hmm. And uh, we worked it out where, you know, we're going to get in the ring and just leave it all in the ring. Yeah. So with that, uh, that's James. With, with that, um, it just influenced a lot of more people. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it snowballed into... I, will, um, I don't mean to cut you off, but I would rather pay money than that than a funeral. You know what I'm saying? It, it just, that's, you know. that's, that's dope. And you know what? You know what, Fat Daddy? I, I, I noticed something about you from knowing from through the years. Now, you always been a pillar of the community. I mean, I, I don't want to get off the subject, but we'll come back to this boxing thing. But I wanted to also touch on... Um, you feed the homeless a lot. Yes, sir. Yeah, so do you got anything coming up this year? Yeah, yeah. What, we, what is that? What, what, got, what you got? Uh, we, we got July. July 4th, we're going to do a uh, give back for the homeless. Uh, we got a, a Thanksgiving dinner we're going to do. And okay. we got the Christmas give back. Again, this will be the 12th year. Word. We've been doing it. Word, word, word. word. Goddamn, yeah. shout out to Word. But anyway, let's get back to this boxing thing, okay? And you said you met a guy named Ralph. Yeah, yeah how I am. Ralph. Yeah, okay, how you doing, brother? Sir. What's your name? Ralph. Ralph. Okay. So explain to me your mindset behind this whole thing. How did this come about? Pretty much for you to even link up with Fat Daddy, you know what I'm saying? Because I know you got a story to tell. Yeah, it's, it's going a long way. We just keep it short, though. All right, we'll go back to 2018, my first day. Okay. At a football field. I told everybody who had problems, pull up on me. I got gloves, I got water, I got chairs. Whatever y'all want to do, you can do it. And they have this on. Matter of fact, if you want to catch this on the internet right now, uh, I got this when they went to the fights and you'll see it pop right up. Right. Okay, okay. We're going to pull that up. Yeah, hands call, hands up, guns down. But if you put it in the fight, it'll be the first one to pop up. But anyway, like I said, long story short, I stopped doing it for a while. People kept asking me to bring it back. So I started, I had my own jail. Right now, I still have my own jail. It's getting reconstructed right now. Okay. But I got my own jail. So where, I started where, where's the gym there. located at? Uh, 4140 North Patterson. 4140 North Patterson. Yeah, I'm getting reconstructed right now. Okay. So um, anyway. I started doing little fights there. People who had problems with the this just hit me up. We can, we can make it happen. But before I made it happen, I made sure them guys, like, bro, one shot fight. This is, right. It's not going to be nothing else after this. Right. And they agreed to it. So I was doing it by myself. I haven't had nobody set no fight. I was doing all the set. What I'm saying, that's what, okay, I don't mean to cut you off. But as, as us black men, you know what I'm saying? I know that it takes a village to raise a child, okay? So we do have a duty, whether we want to admit it or not, or take on the responsibility, but we do have that responsibility for me, these guys that don't have fathers or that type of father figure in their life. Because I know I remember me being that age, me wanting to... uh, figure out how to be a man or what kind of man I'm going to be. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to be an old fucked up nigga or am I going to be this business guy or am I just going to be a hard working dude that just raised a family? You know what I'm saying? So I feel I applaud you on this and I feel that this, it's a great idea. It's genius. Especially for the cats to get, some, get, that, get that shit up off of. You know what I'm saying? That adrenaline up off of you. You know? I wouldn't get them this far. I'm going to be honest like I tell us to everybody. Any meeting I go in, I don't care who we meet. If I would, I wouldn't even been right here 
doing this a podcast with you. He wants to do right at him. Right. And, uh, that's not wow. even well, I appreciate I'm, you coming, brother. But it's not even for this camera. You okay. feel what I'm saying? I tell him this shit every day. Yeah. Man, I ain't really got too many friends or that shit no more. Them niggas I hang out with. All the 90 niggas I hang out with a long time ago, I don't even talk to them. Because the only guy I pretty much call every day. Well, I mean, you got a duty right now. Yeah. You have a duty, and you, and you, you pretty much walking in it. Right. So, I, don't, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised that you don't got too many friends. Right? Right. Because, you know, I mean, you, you got a lot on your shoulders. Right. right. It's bigger than business with this guy, though. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's bigger than it's business. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it's time for business, yeah, he definitely let me know it's time for business. But you know I'm saying it's, it's, it's kind of like a brotherhood for this guy from with me and him, though. So, okay, so when we gonna see one of these fights? I mean, we had one um, yesterday, March 19th, which is probably gonna be the biggest thing in the city. No, I, mean, I ain't gonna say probably. It's What's gonna be the biggest thing in the city, <laughs> especially? But you know, unfortunately, we had some some problems and complications. You know. Some bad blood between somebody else. They want to shut us down. They did, but you know it ain't council. We just got to move to a better day. Okay, so when the next day? For? Fuck all that. When the I next mean, day? We, we shooting for 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 either April tenth or April 9th. We're shooting for those. You know, like I said, it's not council. It's just move to a better it's day. Move to a better day. That's what's up. So, um, okay, well. You hit me up, and I really got them advertising or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Best we can. We when y'all get that date. You got y'all the table. Then what y'all to pull up? Oh, we'll pull up. We'll definitely pull up. How about that, y'all? You see. Okay, the top will come bug me in the building. That's what's up. We'll talk about that sponsorship. We'll talk about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to definitely got a politic ditto that. I can see that up there. Found my way, I found my way, I found my way, I found my way, I found my way, you can't ride my way, no, 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 no. no can't give up on me, no, Jane give up on me.